In fact, that a meeting tonight on the quarry had to be moved to a bigger venue. KCTV 5's Leslie Aguilar is live tonight where that meeting will be getting underway very soon. Leslie? Yeah, right now there's a huge crowd forming outside of the Greenwood Elementary School gym tonight. Too many people to fit in City Hall across the street. That's why this public hearing is being held here. Dozens of people are set to speak in front of the Planning Commission to urge them to say no to a special use permit that would allow the nearby quarry to expand. Okay, so this is the property line right here. Barb Burns property in Pleasant Hill overlooks some quiet farmland newly annexed into the city of Greenwood. She and her husband moved here years ago, knowing the Martin Marietta quarry was about three miles away. It was far enough away and it was finite. We were told that within a certain number of years they would be done because they would be finished mining the land that they have now. There was never any talk about them expanding. Now the company is leasing about 2,000 acres of land adjacent to the existing quarry and to Burns home and dozens more. I worry about the integrity of my home, the trucks and the beeping and the noise and the blasting. The city of Greenwood is considering changing the zoning of the land now leased by Martin Marietta to allow for mining. Neighbors have signs in their yards protesting the change thanks in part to Burns extensive research and outreach on the issue. This quarry is something that needs to be more studied before we do a contract for 30 years with this billion dollar corporation. Jesse Hill is a lifelong Greenwood resident and member of an environmental group called Sunrise Movement. I had to go to Children's Mercy several times to receive asthma treatments as well as many of my neighbors did. Uh, I would cough constantly and my doctors told my parents that the problem was because of low air quality. He says the risks of making Greenwood a permanent mining town outweigh the benefits of the proposed deal. $850,000 to fix 2nd Street, a six cent per ton tax on materials leaving the quarry and 200 acres of donated land. If Greenwood is worried about growing, which I know they are, this is not the way to go. Now, I did reach out to Martin Marietta and the Greenwood mayor today and did not receive a response from either. Now, Byrne and um, some other folks involved in this created an LLC to oppose the expansion of the quarry, and they've hired two attorneys. Now, uh, the Planning Commission recommendation that will be made tonight will then go on to the city council for a vote, and of course, we'll let you know what happens. Reporting live in Greenwood, Leslie Aguilar, KCTV 5 News. All right,